In this lesson, we're going to edit our movie, which is to tell our story. Yep, now that we've imported our clips, we've reviewed them, we've rated them, we can get to work actually building the movie. Let's do it. All right. Once you've imported your media and identified the parts of the clips you want to use by rating with favorites, it's time to build your movie. To get started, make sure the event containing the clips you want to use is selected. Click the Create button and choose Movie. You can choose from a set of themes, or you can choose not to use a theme. Let's select No Theme. You can always add one later. Now you can either double click the No Theme thumbnail or click the Create button. Give your movie a name and choose an event to store it in. The currently selected event should appear here for you, so click OK. An empty timeline for your project appears in the bottom half of the iMovie window. The next step is to add your clips to the timeline. Let's filter our clips to view just our favorites that we rated earlier. To add a clip, double click it to select it, then click the plus button. To add part of a clip, drag out a range and then click the plus button. Don't worry too much about the exact order of your clips because you can change that later. To see more of your project, drag the zoom slider at the top right of the timeline. The plus button always adds clips to the end of your project. You can also drag clips to the timeline and you can place them between other clips. In the browser, Notice the orange bars that have appeared on the bottom of the clips that we've added to the timeline. These are used media indicators, and they let us know which clips we've already used in our movie. After you've added several clips to the timeline, you can view them. Just like in the browser, moving the pointer over the timeline is called skimming, and allows you to see clips that you skim in the viewer. The vertical colored line is called the skimmer. The vertical white line with a triangle on top is called the playhead. If you press the spacebar to play the project, the playhead jumps to the skimmer location. You may want to change how your clips appear in the timeline. Click the film strip icon at the top right. Just as with the browser, you can change the clip size and view audio waveforms. Let's enable them. If dragging the slider all the way to the left doesn't reveal all the clips in your project, you can either scroll the timeline by swiping left or right on your mouse or trackpad, or from the View menu, select Wrapping Timeline. Now we can see all the clips in the project in rows. Let's turn that back off for now. Often, you want to make additional changes to your movie in the timeline. To change the order of a clip, simply drag it to the new location. You can even select multiple clips and drag them all to a new location. In addition to changing the location of clips, you can change the content of clips by trimming them, which means adding or taking away frames from the start or end of a clip. To trim a clip, Drag on either end. The current frame appears in the viewer as you drag. Here's a tip for how to quickly trim a clip to a specific frame. Let's say that we'd like this clip to start later. We can skim the clip to the frame we want and click to place the playhead right over the skimmer on that frame. Now from the Modify menu, Let's select Trim to Playhead. Notice the keyboard shortcut, Option Forward Slash. Immediately, the start of the clip is trimmed to that frame. And you actually don't even need to select the clip. Let's skim the end of this clip. Let's say we'd like it to end here instead. With the skimmer over the clip and without clicking, press Option Forward Slash. And the end of the clip is trimmed to that frame. Very fast and easy. 
If the skimmer is over the first half of the clip, the Trim to Playhead command will trim the start of the clip. If it's over the second half, it'll trim the end of the clip. By adding clips from the browser to the timeline, and then arranging and trimming them in the timeline, you build the structure of your movie. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at more ways to add clips to your movie.